Hello Capricorn, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This will be from the 23rd to the 29th of May 2022. And remember these readings won't be for everyone. Take what resonates with you as always. Love the star can be linked with divine wish fulfillment and blessings. It's the card of hope, faith, renewal. And even new optimism linked with that. We have the Seven of Wands. The Four of Wands. The Page of Cups. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles. We have the Moon. Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands. So let's clarify the start. It feels like you're, pre you're protecting something here. You're working hard to protect something. Clarify the star, hope, faith. We have temperance, which is a, a rebalancing energy with the six of pentacles yeah and i've got the nine of pentacles bottom of that deck yeah it feels like you're you're pre really protecting something or wanting to protect something um you know even underneath that i've got the empress that she just peeped out from underneath when i was putting down the deck this is abundant energy It, it might well be for some of you here, Capricorn, that this can be to do with uh, changes in your money, career, finances. Now, there's a, a few, two or three threads that I'm getting in relation to that. And again, you know, these readings can mean different things to different people, but the cards remain the same. So the, nine, the seven of wands, and I'm going to go here first, the seven of wands can be about defending something. Uh, and why are you in defensive mode? Why are you fighting for something? Why are you pushing forward and persevering with something? Um, it's because there's a feeling of needing to protect, and this is an energy with this nine of pentacles, of uh, it, it feels you're challenged on the money front and wanting to get that back and persevering on something because you want to get abundance back in your own right. You know, is what I'm getting. So there's a, and this is ch the challenge. So this is an energy here of someone's challenged because they're fighting for something, competing for something here even or pushing forward on something, or really persevering on a path because they want to protect their home, their family, their material possessions, but they also want to be financially abundant again. This could be you, this could be somebody close to you because we do have the four of wands, um, the four corners of stability and security that's not feeling so stable right now. This is a card of lack. So the Five of Pentacles can be financial lack, financial loss. This can be a card of uh, challenges on the money front, however that would be. Now, for some of you, you could own your own business. And again, if the business has been challenged to uh, deliver 
you know, the fruits of it, your, its labor, the effort that you've been putting into it is not bringing abundance. And there's a feeling of lack here. It might well be if that's affecting your home, your family relationship. There's an energy here of, of you might be getting some offer to help you on that. Because it might well be for some of you, this could be, for example, somebody offering you a sum of money if you're an entrepreneur to see you through a rough patch. I mean, that could be anybody. That could be an act of kindness from family or friends. It could also be an investor energy, somebody wanting to be a partner. You, know, you kind of get what I'm saying here, Capricorn. This can also be somebody making you an offer that restores harmony and balance in the situation. So can be job offers, business opportunities, um, that kind of energy. But it's, it's all part, whatever this offer is, spirit is working through whatever this is coming, whatever is coming to you, because it's all about rebalancing and bringing balance back to your situation. And again, having faith and having hope and bringing new optimism your way that links to wish fulfillment. So it's almost kind of like you're being told to have faith in this offer, almost like this offer is meant for you. This is uncertainty. Either you're uncertain about whether you're going to get the offer or you're uncertain about whether to take it. Either way, it might well be someone's giving you help, advice, support when you need it, is what I'm saying. But it does feel in this energy here that there's action, positive news, messages, positive shifts here. So it does feel, I mean, if you've been waiting for news this is news coming in out the blue that it feels is bringing change to your money career financial aspect for some of you again if it's like a business or an entrepreneur it feels like there could be some kind of offer given to you that needs to really be considered because it this it might be like answered prayers it feels in the energy to help get you back on track it does feel like this can be linked to conversation, communication, forward movement, action, positive shifts, positive change. So we now have the nine of pentacles, abundance, feeling successful, feeling that you are now, what you've been fighting for is coming to fruition again. So a real kind of turning point here, but it's down to what... It, it's down to what spirit is telling you to just have faith on because there's new optimism here. And we have the Empress energy. New abundance. She can be a person who may be bringing new abundance your way, who may be bringing off as opportunity. She can be linked with a businesswoman. She will be a woman, a female, divine feminine energy. But I, I, I feel generally, I generally interpret the Empress as a female energy very empowered one as well. This can also be the birth of something new. So again, linked with this offer, the birth of something new in abundance for you, the creation of a new reality for you, where you are back feeling financially affluent. This can also be the energy here, Capricorn. If you have felt lack and have needed to ask somebody else for um, money, you know, which has been freely given, I think, and not liking to be in that situation, it feels there could be news communication coming in that brings a new level of abundance your way. Because this is a feeling of, of needing to do what you need to do to make ends meet and having to even be reliant on other people but there's new hope in a sense that it feels like things are going to change and you're back in your abundance again. And it's down to whatever's coming your way here, communication, the offer. It, it feels in this energy, there's communication comes in that, that brings change and transformation is what I'm getting. So that's what I have for you. It's an interesting reading. But it's a very hopeful one. Okay, final message for Capricorn.
We have horse, free spirit, yeah. Give yourself the space and freedom to express your creativity. Yeah, this, this feels strongly like an energy of spirit saying, you're going to free yourself from this situation. You might have had to either depend on somebody else or may have had to find business solutions. But it does feel like whatever this offer is or whatever is coming in, uh, whatever this new hope is that's coming in, it feels it's linked to this new abundance being created for you. Pretty heavily influenced by spirit. So there's an energy of really have faith because this is about dreams made real again through sheer perseverance and hard work. That's what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed the reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I will see you next time. Thank you.